kababayan! Welcome to our show. Ako po si G Tanji. Today is a very, very special episode as I invite a guest co-host on the show, which we'll start doing regularly para naman maiba lang. Kilala natin siya bilang Phil Am Comedy King kung saan kakabagan kayo sa kakatao pag siya ang kasama natin. Ladies and gentlemen, here on Kababayan Today, Rex Navarrete joins us on Kababayan Today. Hello, Rex! Hey, G. Hi, guys. Uh, it's good to be here. This is this is gonna go crazy. I know, you know, you are so busy. I saw you in the Philippines. I saw you in New York recently. Yes. You're never in Los Angeles anymore. Never. So, so, so that's why we're taking advantage I know. of you. So you got me. You got okay. me. You got <laughs> All me. Right. This is it. <laughs> All right. So moving on, we've got a very special show today, right? I, I know, mm -hmm. I know. Because of our Hawaiian Filipino connection today, G and I talk story with another Phil M based in Hawaii doing some pretty impressive stuff. Talk story tayo. Talk story tayo. Mga kababayan, it's time for Talk Story Tayo, where we celebrate Filipino pride with the aloha spirit. Mabuhay! Mga kababayan, he is a singer, actor, and host from Hawaii here in Los Angeles. Of course, Ilocano ang kanyang background. Yes. He's appeared on American Idol, has released his own albums, and is also a host. Yes, from Oahu, Hawaii. Tara, talk story tayo with Jordan Segundo. Hello, aloha, mabuhay, magandang hapon po. So good to be here. Hey, I'm impressed with this guy. <laughs> Not Learning. bad, huh? Not bad. <laughs> Three minutes. That's right, that's rehearsing. right. So I say, masaya na nang dito ako. Yes. Oh, Happy to be here. Hey. I'm learning a little. He's more prepped than I am. You know what? Why don't you take over oh, no. as the host? Sige na. Sige na, Jordan. Sige na. Oh, oh, diba? Ikaw, 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 Ikaw muna, ha? Sige na. No, but I really have to say, Jordan, you have evolved from, you know, being on American Idol, singing, having your own album. Now you're a host. You're an actor. I mean, what else can't you do? Uh, do comedy. Oh, oh. No. no. So I'll leave no, that no. on to Rex. I no. can't do that either, Rex. <laughs> you that's, do something that's special. It's not for everybody. <laughs> no, that's no, true. No, but I'm really excited to be here. And of course, with, with my buddy Rex here, uh, we performed in San Francisco at the uh, Pistahan Festival. Yes, a few we years did. Ago. Yeah, yeah. And I just kept us laughing the entire time. So I know. When I'm with him, I, I start getting gas. <laughs> <laughs> it's TMI. So TMI, G. That's a little TMI. <laughs> Okay, well, let's start first. You grew up in Hawaii. I know you were living I in Hawaii. I lived in Hawaii as well, yeah. How long were you living there? I was there for about five years. Okay, and uh, you were born and raised? Born and raised in Hawaii, on Oahu. Uh, my parents are born there, uh, but my, gra my grandparents um, from my dad, my mom, his father and mother are both from the Philippines, so they moved to Hawaii and uh, the rest is history. Okay, so you're third generation yes. Filipino Hawaiian. Yes. Wow, that goes back, huh? Yeah, yeah. You know, in Hawaii, you got generations and generations of not just Filipinos, but a mm -hmm. whole bunch of other cultures. Yes. Uh -huh. So I'm actually a mix of Filipino, Hawaiian, Japanese, German, because my dad's Filipino, and then my mom's all the mix of oh, everything she's else. Mix hapa, yeah. Yeah, she is. Oh, okay. She is. All right. Well, I, I feel like I can kind of yes. associate because I'm half also, mm -hmm. so I'm hapa, right? Mm, hapa, hapa, yes. Okay. <laughs> so let's talk about growing up in Hawaii how was that like I'm sure you were I mean there's a big Filipino community mm -hmm. but how was that like associating with being Filipino it's just normal I right. think you know Hawaii has so many different uh, cultures and it's so diverse um, that everyone kind of gets along with everyone um, you know growing up Filipino I think everyone has a pride uh, you know of their culture and um, it was great I think it influenced me you know in my career because Filipinos always pride hard work you know dedication working hard and I think that sort of uh, you know prepped me as a young child growing up around that culture, especially in Hawaii. I heard that at five years old, you were already singing. <laughs> yeah, that's how I started. Uh, I started yes. singing around the house. It's, 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 it's genetic. <laughs> right? You can't keep a microphone out of that's our hands. <laughs> well, I'm the, I, the crazy thing is I'm the only one in my family that, that sings. Um, my mom's side, all of my uncles and my aunties sing except my mom. So she said it skipped her uh -huh. and went to me. But yeah, five, five years old, I was singing, uh, singing around the house and my parents decided to put me in singing lessons. And from there, I just performed. I just loved singing. I knew at five years old that singing was what I wanted to uh, do as my career as okay. a child. Okay, well, I know you have a lot of fans and not <laughs> only Filipino fans, but 
you know, everywhere in the world. H how has that ride been for you? It's, it's been a great ride. I mean, you know, growing up performing in middle school, high school, it was my senior year uh, when I auditioned for American Idol. So after being on that show was when everything sort of uh, just kicked off and exploded. Um, and uh, it's, it's been a nice ride. I'm very grateful for it and very thankful. Um, and just happy that I get to pursue my dream and my passion of performing and, and being on stage. Rex, he was 17 when he joined American Idol. <laughs> oh boy! So just a couple <laughs> months ago, how yeah, oh, did baby don't. face? I know it was either American Idol or join the U.S. Army. That's right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I'm glad American Idol got you, buddy. Yeah. So since American Idol, you've exploded. But this is really interesting, Rex. He's never been to the Philippines. Uh, to we're gonna perform. have to, we're gonna have to fix that. So yes. folks in the Philippines, you love this guy's talent, please. Call him. Yeah. You need to come to the Philippines. Okay, so since you've been to the Philippines numerous times <laughs> to perform, what advice can you give Jordan when he finally makes it over there? Um, well, you're just gonna have to, you're just gonna have to soak in uh, a lot um, a lot more of the musical talent that you grew up with. It's everywhere in the mm -hmm. Philippines. It's every every block. Yeah, every it's canto, alive. people are singing karaoke. Oh. People on the street. It, it really is a cultural thing, isn't yeah. it? Yes, it That's is. What I hear. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to going there. We're going to make it happen, let's, Jordan. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. We said it right here today. All right. And also, we're in for a very special treat because Jordan is going to be singing uh, later on. So we'll get to check that out. But when we return, pag-uusapan natin yung kanyang career, uh, American Idol, all the way to what he's doing now. We'll be right back.